Good morning, folks. We've got sunspots, a CME, and route radiation storms from the sun, news from the galactic scale down to way, way beneath our feet. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star, and we've witnessed the second quiet day following the CME release. Not much happening in terms of eruptive behavior, but we can't guarantee that will last today. The departing sunspot group on the north has not decayed like the other groups, and despite a magnetic spread, it sits in a line, so movement relatively lateral could trigger flare release. Eyes on it. We'll also be keeping an eye on the incoming limb as bright umbral magnetic fields come into view just north of some dark twisting solar tornadoes. Tiny ones, only about the size of our planet. While we watch for eruptions, we've got that CME en route to Earth. Experts expect impact tomorrow, but if it arrives early, or if in too close of proximity to the coronal hole stream from the large dark opening surrounding that northern sunspot group, we could see mid to higher level disruptions. Eyes on the telemetry. Meanwhile, while we wait, solar wind is calming even further as those shock waves make their way to our planet. We have absolutely no geomagnetic disruptions. Could actually slip into cosmic ray health advisory status later today, which would not be desirable due to the ongoing cosmic electron radiation storm from the sun. We are starting the day near level 2, so continued quiet in the solar wind could allow that particle flow to strengthen in a big way. Updates and alerts will come through the app first. Let's take a look at SOHO and what's happening here is a satellite flip to cool the sun facing side. When that happens, the dark arm holding the central blocking disk has its perspective flipped from our vantage point, appears to go back and forth bottom left to top right as those flips occur, and by the way that's Pleiades bright in the north, Aldebaran coming into view on the south. So who knows what this is? Wind map of a hurricane is a pretty good guess. Plasma swirl above an alpha class sunspot is another good guess. Alas, it is the magnetic field setup of a simulation aimed at reconstructing our Milky Way galaxy. It was able to reproduce the filamentary stage at the beginning, the nice spiral shape, and the hot gas X in the center of the Milky Way, which many people incorrectly call a photon belt, which is neither possible nor makes any sense, but very interestingly, they say they can answer the spiral structure and other galaxy formation and sustainability problems if small galaxies get sucked into our bigger one every once in a while. Interesting theory based on something nobody's ever seen. Up next, the Taurid meteor shower. The top light blue portion of the chart represents a new branch of the cometary debris compared to the dark blue and red, which was all that was officially known before. The key is that this newly discovered branch only swings around to hit us every few years, like it did in 2015, and is responsible for the periodic super show from the normally weak and lackluster Taurid shower. The separate branch is why it outperforms every few years, and they say the chances for an impactor at the ground level posing a threat to Earth now are vastly increased during those years in late October and early November when that new branch is coming around our way. Last but not least on the news front, an incredible revelation that makes infinitely more sense than the old mantle theory, which admittedly confused me regarding why some of our pre-seismic factors actually presented such merit as forecasting aids. Apparently, the cold slab does not just go down. But under Japan and China, it hits the transition zone and lays flat in the water-rich boundary between the upper and lower mantles. This allows the layered electrical setup to make rational sense beyond just its practical ability to forecast seismicity. Website members, we've got some pretty cool deeper look episodes recently and hopefully another one coming up later today. Sign in, sign up, become a member, access free resources and the premium content all from the menu bar. Membership keeps these morning news free and the website resources updating. You can't imagine how much we appreciate your support. We've got the world's weather and null school atmospheric runs followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.